for this incredible episode, it is all about paddle power. You can see them. This is a good sign. Oh, we're on, we're on! I take you from the mainland all the way out into the ocean to explore some local islands. From above, below, and beyond. Wow! I'm Justin Amore, <laughs> and I want to show you that with the right mindset and the right gear, adventure is all around us. Incredible country. It just keeps giving adventure after adventure. That is not a place you want to slip. They will not find you down there. Solo adventures with a twist, from mountains to the ocean and everything in between. This is so epic. Come on. Come and on. Dinner. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is Just Wild NZ. Let's go. Welcome back to another incredible adventure on Just Wild NZ. What we're going to do is we're going to go from the mainland in Waikano Beach. We're going to boost all the way to Kapiti Island. We're going to do it in this beast. Once we go into Kapiti Island, we're going to head to a place called Browns Island. This we can land on, but we can't spend the night. We're then going to go to the south end of Kapiti Island. We can't touch the island, we don't have permission. So we have to spend the night out in the ocean and you're gonna be there with me. Hopefully, we find a sheltered little bay where the tide doesn't rip us out to the ocean. Then from there, we're gonna head around the back end of Kapiti. This is the western side. Now this is totally different than the eastern side. That western side is just smashed with incredible weather and it's just sheer on the other side. I can't wait to show you that. Then we're going to finish this incredible journey all the way on the north end. And here, there's a seal colony. Wouldn't it just be the best swimming with the seals? Anyway, let's get this adventure on the way. Going to scour the beach first before we head out on the kayak. I'm looking to make a Hawaiian sling and I'm looking to make my own hooks from rubbish. The reason being, if I bring my own hooks, wow, that's slightly too easy. If I bring my own spear gun, brings out the adventure of it on this trip. So let's have a look along this beach here, see what we can find. I've got a few ideas on hooks. I've got a few ideas on Hawaiian slings, but really it comes down to what I find. So what I am bringing with me is an old, old, rusty old spear, an old spear shaft. which has been cut down. And what I also have with me is this good old rubber. The rubber that was constructed on a previous episode, which is on the coast, coast of Makra. If you haven't seen that, got to check it out. <laughs> Already we're in. I've never been so happy to see rubbish like this before. I haven't actually done this technique before with the hooks, but I have seen it being done. These bottle tabs, these openers, you can pull those off and turn them into hooks. I'm going to take both of these, I'll pull the tabs off, I'll discard this rubbish because we don't want it on the beach anyway. So that's two hooks. If I get the technique right, Here's something we can definitely use. It's a little bit tight, but this could act as a handle and secure the end of the spear. I get good pullback on it before letting it go. Let's definitely take this. Let's keep going. Ooh, what's this? Does it go all the way through? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, we got a good find here. Look at this. Does it go all the way through? Oh, it's a bit tight. It does though. Like a good way of getting rid of the rust as well. <laughs> That's perfect. And yeah, this is going to be the handle. Ha! <laughs> 
How good's this fort? There couldn't be a better place to construct an awesome spear. This is it. Right, let's start constructing it with a knife, bit of string, and a bit of pretend know-how. <laughs> Right, we got through. What I'm going to do now is attach the bungee to the main handle and then we'll give it a test drive and hopefully, hopefully get some good distance on this one. Well here's the idea, shaft through here, sits in the holder, get enough tension, pull it back, whoa, that goes good, this is good, I'll grab the spear, let's have a couple more shots before we get in the water, get in that kayak and head to that island. I am more than happy with this setup. Every time I'm shooting it, it's just getting smoother and smoother and smoother. Let's get geared up, get the wetsuit on, get that kayak in the water, and let's start paddling. Let's kick off this adventure. Woo! This is the north end and the south end on this side. Browns is just around the corner here and that's where we're headed to. Making real good distance with this Bixby. Plus the calm seas, I mean geez. This is pretty much a capity glass day. This is fantastic. Almost 50 meters of water. We're about a third of the way there. And I need to dig it in. The reason being, it's high tide in about an hour. There's a massive volume of water here, a big channel. So we want to get to Browns Island. We want to get geared up before that low tide kicks in. Because who knows, if we don't have our wits about us, that tide could quite easily rip us out into the Cook Strait on our way to the South Island. And if we don't hit that South Island, who knows, we're on our way to, to Argentina or South Africa. <laughs> I've just come up to a whole bunch of birds that were just working a big school. We could try that hook with that little bit of a skirt and try and trawl our way through it and who knows we might get a hook up. So I've just deviated away from Kapiti Island at the moment to where the birds are, just about to go through them and then wait for that school and then hopefully, boom, hopefully we'll get a hook up. There's a whole bunch of birds just over here. Everybody's just waiting patiently. <laughs> for the fish to come back up again so we can get into it. Let's get the lure in. The lure's in. As soon as we hit, we'll we hear it. It will just, it'll just take off. Oh, I hope that lure holds, I hope it holds. We're getting close. Getting real close. We're getting real close to our first destination. So Kapiti Island, just here. Then we're looking now at the three islands. So we've got right here is Aeroplane Island, and the middle is Browns Island, and then just off to the right here is Fisherman's Island. Now Fisherman's Island and Aeroplane Island, they're iwi owned. Also Browns Island is iwi owned as well, but with an agreement with the Department of Conservation to allow landing for the day on Browns Island. So that's where we're going. 
Let's paddle past the aeroplane, head to Browns Island, get geared up, get in the water and make it happen. I can't wait to see the clarity. It just looks magic. Don't know if you can see it, but just around here, just in front of the kayak, there's a couple of fish splashing out. Here we go, you can see them. This is a good sign. Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on. <laughs> we're on, we're on. <laughs> can we get it to the boat? Oh, I spat it. Oh, lost my glasses. It's all on. Oh no, we're back on. The glasses are gone though. <laughs> I can't believe that hook is holding. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> How is this possible? He's right here. He's right here. Can I get him on the boat? Whoa! <laughs> we need you for dinner. Yeah! <laughs> hey! We got one! Oh, I just spent the hook! I just spent the hook! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> we call these in New Zealand kawai, otherwise known as sea trout. Real nice if you cook it fresh that day. Real nice sashimi as well. <laughs> and this is plenty of food for lunch. Wow, this is so good. Oh, I've got to find my sunnies too. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> Did you see that? They were kingfish underneath the kawai. So they're feeding on the kawai. I think my sunnies are pretty much gone. A small sacrifice to pay. We might find them in a day or two. <laughs> we'll be on that beach in 10 minutes. It wasn't supposed to be a southerly. Because <laughs> we're on the south end, so we're quite exposed. So we're going to find a little tucked in bay tonight. But that's later on. So just coming up to Browns Island now with fishermen on the right hand side. Browns Island. That's fishermen's. We're allowed to land on Browns Island. So let's land on there, fillet this fish, have a bit of a cook up. Hopefully then the current will just die down after lunch and then let's jump in the water and see if we can get something for dinner. Wow, look at the clarity. What a beautiful spot. Let's pull this up. Wow, look at this beach. And we came all the way from over there. <laughs> this water, look at this water. Just clean as. Let's get set up, have a look around the island. And then lunchtime. How good's this view? <laughs> Let's fillet this fish up. Let's get the stove on. And let's eat some lunch. <laughs> yeah. Looking good. This smells amazing. It smells incredible, it's ready. Check this out. Just when those flakes start just pulling apart. That's just perfect. Cheers. 
Oh. That's incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. It's a thousand times better than hoo-hoo grubs. <laughs> I'm going to finish the rest of this, get geared up, see how strong that current is, and let's get in there and see if we can get another one for tonight, a butterfish or something else that's going to get us through the night, maybe a, a couple of power, let's get in there, see what we find. Gears on, steer in hand, <laughs> let's go check out this current, let's go. <laughs> I keep missing these butterfish. One thing I did not think about was the swelling of the wood. I keep missing it. It keeps jamming. I'm not trying to make excuses here. I just know I've got to perform a better technique next time. But on Kapiti Island, all along here, I can see it with my naked eye, it's just getting smashed and smashed by big waves. The southerly is definitely, definitely picked up a lot. Where I wanted to go, around the south end of Kapiti, I just think it's gonna be way, way too rough. We might have to just hold fire around this island. And worst case scenario, it's nice and sheltered in some of these bays, so I might just cruise out a little bit and tuck in in leeward of this, of this island just to get away from the wind. Definitely when we were diving, I saw a lot of kinna and real shallow. And being that it's low tide now, that means that the water, water line is normally up to sort of here. So we'll go have a look around the rocks here or here, and we should find some kind of, I've still got that half fillet too from the car way that we caught this morning. So we've got plenty of food, we've got plenty of willpower. We'll get to where we need to get to, but we'll get there safely as long as the wind's changed and as long as it's safe. Uh, we just have to work out where we can stay. I might just even just launch the pack raft off this island, tuck in a little bay. Uh, it seems like it's better than anywhere that I'm gonna get around the island. Anyway, let's go have a look at some rock pools and look for a sea urchin and look for a kinna. Oh, look at that. Cat's eyes. Yum. That's dinner. I'll definitely pop a few of these off. Look for another kinna, just something to, to fulfill the hunger now. And then some cat's eyes along with that fish fillet that we got earlier this morning. That's perfect, that is a meal. Some good deep rock pools in here, there's gotta be some kinda just in here. Let's have a look. Yep, here's one, tucked under the weed. Perfect, saw him under, there he is. Oh, oh. That's brilliant. Let's open it up, see if it's nice and creamy inside. Oh yes. That's what we're looking for, these beautiful golden creamy row. That's it, that nice creamy row. Mm. Wow. So much flavour, it's incredible. I love it. Can't eat too much of it, quite rich. 
Just pop some of these limpets off the rocks. Man, I've, now that I've come around to the point a bit more on browns, you can really see that white water just smashing Kapiti Island on these exposed rocks. It's going to be very, very, very hard to see, but all along here, I'm just seeing white water smash, smash, smash. And that will be going into all the bays that we were going to go tonight. So that's a no-go zone. And this is about halfway around Browns, pretty small island. Let's just scoot around here, see what we can find. Gonna get these limpids, cat size, on the boil. I've also got something for dessert. Remind me later, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's get these on the boil and then I'll fry them up with the fish fillet. Now here's dessert, which is kind of part of dinner as well. The eyeballs. I'm going to boil them up and then I'm going to fry them up with all the goodies. <laughs> Haven't tried the eyeballs before, but what better time than now? Right, let's give this eyeball a go. Mmm, bit of cartilage in there, but it's actually quite tasty. I must admit, I expected worse. It looks worse than it is. That's actually not too bad. Let's fry up the rest of these goodies. That's the limpets. And that's what came out of the cat's eyes. Just perfect. Mmm. I do like those limpets. They're a little bit chewy, but they've got so much flavor. Now the cat's eye. Oh, wow. Oh, they're good. I'm gonna finish the rest of this dinner, and then let's get set up for the night. I've put through a call to some of the iwi to see if it's actually okay to still be here on the island. I've given them the plans that I wanted to sleep in the leeward side of an island or in a bay and a pack raft which was attached to my kayak. Now that that chops really got up, wind sort of whipping around, I've asked if it's just okay to spend the night on the island. So just waiting for a call back on that. If not, then we'll go back to plan A which is the floating in the pack raft. We're either going to be spending the night in the ocean or on this epic island. We've been given the green light to spend the night here. That's amazing. But we have to be gone first thing in the morning. The wind should change and then we can carry on with that epic task. Now if you're watching this and you are part of Iwi, I do realise that there is a lot of owners when it comes to this island. And if you weren't consulted about this, I do apologise. And I hope I have not offended anybody by spending the night on this island. I'll be super respectful, I'll leave no trace. In the morning, I'll be gone. And I do thank you so much for safe ground and safe passage. Kia ora. There we are. That's all we need. That's all we need. I do have also a bivy bag as well, in case the weather comes in even more. All nicely set up. Just in time to watch the sun go down. As I'm waiting for the sun to come down, let's make another hook and hopefully we can use it tomorrow with these little bottle openers. Cut one on the top there. And now all I have to do is cut a barb. So to cut the barb, all I'm going to do is make a mark right through here, cut it on that angle. And when I get it on that angle, it will be a perfect barb.
Good morning to you. And how is this morning? It's completely glassed off again. Complete contrast. Just shows you how quick it can get calm, just like that. But equally can get just as rough. Wow. And let's carry on this incredible journey. One thing I forgot to show you yesterday, how we got the kawai and my hook set up that we made. So there's the hook and I've just put it on a Tasmanian devil. And what happens is when the kawai hook up, that comes away from the hook. <laughs> I can't believe that held for so long. And I think we'll just trawl around the corner. I can't wait to show you what's around on that western side. I really did think yesterday, oh, it's going to be closed in and we won't be able to get around there and I won't be able to show you. But because it's so beautiful again, I'm definitely showing you. I can't wait to show you what the other side of the island looks like. I'm going to get geared up, get on the water, and then we're going to go around the south end, which is just spectacular. And then I get to show you the west. What a day. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's gonna be another biggie. We're coming up to the south end now. So many little hidden bays. It's just beautiful. But southerly swell still coming in. Bit of a surge. And we would have just got annihilated in here last night. Check out that cave. We're here. We're here at the south end. And it is stunning. Clarity of water is fantastic. How is that? So this is the south end of Kapiti. And then just around the corner here is a place called West Point. And then as soon as we round that West Point, we're into the west side of Kapiti. You can see it already changing just from sheer weather, from the southerly, just smashing the side. Spectacular. Let's go check out this cave. It looks amazing. You would not go through it with a boat, that's for sure. Let's go check it out. How epic is this? Wow, that's cool. Here's West Point, here she is. One more corner, one more rock, and then we're on the back side of Kapiti, on that western side that I wanted to show you. And it's right here, still haven't got any lunch yet, but if the rod's not out with our hook, then uh, wow, it's better to be out than not. We're on the back side of Kapiti and it is just all inspiring. Every time I see it, it blows me away. Just sheer close, boom, straight into the water. And our destination is just around that point. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. And I hope the seals are still there. I really do. That's what I want when I be able to jump in the water with a seal, have a swim around, see the playful nature then that's, that's the golden moment. That's what we're searching for. Just dropped our lure down. It's got no bait on it. <laughs> and it's taking forever to get to the bottom. So we'll give this a go, see if we get a bite. If not, oh. I'm getting nibbles. Oh, let's see what happens. It's a good sign. Oh, we're on, we're on. <laughs> it's nodding like a snapper. I'm not sure where it is. But we're about to find out. 
What have we got? Oh, it's a massive blue cod. Oh, oh. I had to turn the camera off because it was panic stations. Man, the hook just held and then came out just as this puppy came on board. Look at the size of this blue cod. This is one of the best tasting fishes for me in New Zealand waters. It is stunning and that is a monster. <laughs> I've left the Bixby on so we're still moving forward. Then I get the cooker and we'll have a bit of a cook up while moving in a kayak in the middle of the ocean. 10, 15k out from the mainland. <laughs> what an epic, epic task to tick off. How's that skin, bones, and you just left with just these incredible fillets off one fish, plus an absolute delicacy I love is cod liver. So let's fry up some cod liver, a couple of fillets, and then head round to the north end. Oh, this is incredible. Got my MSR cooker out. Pan on, and we're still moving. <laughs> Didn't bring any food, but I bought butter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's not many kayaks you can do this in, I'll tell you. Oh, that. Wow. We are done. We are done. We are done. First, this beautiful liver, cod liver. Oh, wow. Oh, look at it, just pulling apart. Mmm, I can't believe this is possible. And again, you are here with me. Thanks so much for watching. Thought I mention, we're still nicely rolling forward. <laughs> oh, you know, one thing I found on this adventure is it doesn't always have to be hard. You don't always have to climb the highest peak, go into the, the deepest valley. It could be as simple as getting the gear, picking the conditions, and just getting out there. It's as easy as that. As long as you've got the confidence and the mindset and the gear, you have to get after it. That's it. That's all that needs to be done. Oh, this is incredible. Now that there is our destination. We round the corner. That's the start of the north end. That's where the seals should be. And I hope that they're still here. All right, let's carry on. Get around this point and see if the seals are there. We're back into it. There it is. Right there. We just gotta go around that corner. Wow. This has been a huge journey. A massive adventure. I can't believe we caught those two epic fish. I can't believe the sea was like glass when we kicked off and then it turned to absolute rubbish and now it's glass again. The Hawaiian sling, that still needs work, but that's okay. We just gotta get around the corner here now. Hope that the seals are here. We swum with the stingrays already and that was incredible. Just wanna swim with a seal, 
see it underwater, see how playful they are. It's right there, right there. Here it is, here it is. Oh, that current was strong around that point. Real strong. As soon as we go in here, the current should kick off. As soon as we get in here, the current should just die down. Oh, look at that. And it has. <laughs> Is there any seals here? It's got, oh, I see one. Hey, I see a couple. <laughs> Yes! Just on the rocks. Hey buddy! I'm all geared up, ready to jump in. There was already one just around the, the kayak. I can't swim up to them and spook them because I, I don't want to scare them off the rock. So I'm going to jump in and hopefully they get curious and then come out to see me. It was a good sign there was already one swimming around. A good sign. upside down playing dive underneath thank you so much again for joining me on just world nz this was a hectic exciting adventure and i loved every second of it i hope you did thanks again for watching Woo